And uh, welcome back to Food Trek. I'm Chef Gilbert here at European Bakery and Deli on 17th Avenue in Calgary. We are here with uh, Shakir Durai of uh, the owner and proprietor with his wife Luma. And uh, you came here in uh, 1999 as a refugee from Kosovo. That's correct. And uh, I understand the hardships of uh, war and the nonsense that went on over there. And you uh, were stationed in Gagetown for yes. a little while. Yeah, that's correct. So what happened there? Uh, well, we have been picked up by Canadian government in Macedonia in a, one camp there. And uh, we arrived in Canada on May 12, 1999. After that, we stayed, we've been stationed in uh, Gagetown in military base yeah. in New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. After a period of two, two and a half months, then we choose Calgary as our home, which was, I think, a very, very good choice. That You mentioned while you were in Gagetown, you did some baking there for some of the people. Yes, yes, we, uh, it was, you know, two and a half months, you know, like without having something like from back home people really wanted. Yeah. So me and my wife, we decide that... Uh, Give them a little taste of Europe. Yes, yes. So you prepare some of the specialties there yes. in Gagetown for the, the people that were also refugees or for yes. military people as well? Yeah, yes, that's correct. And that was uh, a burek, as you can see in our hot holder. And um, for about, about 24 hours, I think, straight, we did quite a lot of... Uh, the pie, like a burek. That's the specialty of the house, the burek. Yes, yes, people are, the if they eat no burek, then they, they'll come here and they'll get the best burek you can get. Yes, sir. This is the place to get it. Yes, sir. That's correct. So, besides uh, the burek, you do, of course, uh, other breads, as we can see. Yes. Uh, you we have lots of variety of the the rye bread, multigrain, white, whole wheat, sourdough bread, and we do some pastry stuff as well, yeah. as well as in our showcase there, all the different kind of cakes, wedding cakes. So this is a, a long tradition of doing this kind of thing because as you, you mentioned to me, uh, back home, uh, there was a bakery business. Your yes. father was in the business. Yes, sir. Uh, you correct. had a bakery back there before uh, the war, that's there were correct. things that went on there. So you learned your craft at an early age then. That's right, that's correct, yeah. So. You went to college for that? You did some uh, culinary? Yes, yeah, that's correct. Is this I, have in, a, I have a diploma, yeah. For in, a, uh, in Kosovo or in, Kos here, in no, Kosovo? in Kosovo, yeah. So you brought to your ex expertise to Calgary? Yes, and it, it worked quite well. So As I, I am see. very proud of it. So how long have you had the uh, European bakery in Delhi? Well, uh, I opened on March 20th, 2006. And uh, we're celebrating in March the 10th of an anniversary Fantastic. in business. That's what I call a success story. From refugees to a great success, liberty and success here in Calgary. So here we have the lovely burek, which uh, Shakir is going to cut. What uh, kind is this one? This one is with meat, but okay. we have with the cheese as well, spinach and a potato. So it's, we have four different kinds. Is that a special burek knife? Yes, this is a special burek knife, which I have quite a difficulty bringing them in from Europe. I saw this on Star Trek one time. Is uh, it? Yeah, I, I don't know who was using it, uh, uh, Romulan maybe or something. So this is how we cut the burek. So it's uh, layers of dough that have been stretched and rolled, and you've got your filling in the middle. And now we've got this pie that is a delicious product. And here we have some sliced burek for us to enjoy. Please. Why don't we cut a tiny little piece so I can uh, give it a shot here. I get you some forks. No, man, this is a hand thing. It's a, <laughs> it's a fork is uh, not for burek eaters. Yeah, Shakir, you did all right here. That's a, one of the finest burek you've had. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So when uh, when this uh, is made, so the, first you make the filling. Yes, sir. Let's say the ground beef is cooked. Yeah, it's, it's pre-cooked. Uh, okay. We mixed it with uh, uh, onions, the fried dried onions. Yeah. 
We put, uh, you know, salt and pepper and some ingredients, you know, vegeta. So after that, uh, when we have the dough ready, then we put the filling in. Is inside. the filling cold or hot when it's on the? No, the it's filling cold. is cool. yes. cold. Yeah, so uh, that's important so that uh, when the uh, the product is cooking, it doesn't have leaking of uh, the that's juices right. and so on. That's so it right. has to be a cooked meat that goes into the uh, layered product. That's so right. it's placed in the middle and then you fold? The, we fold as we're going to show you later how it's going to be done. Okay, so it's a bunch of layers. So this is the same process for all the bureks? Yes. The uh, spinach, the cheese? That's correct. Now I remember working in uh, at a Yugoslav restaurant back in Winnipeg, we had something called gibanitsa. Is that similar? Yeah, it's a similar. Yeah, it's the same one. We just is a, is a, a single uh, single burek. Yeah. And this one is a pan, the 12 inch pan. Is it also can be used with a filo, or this is the traditional way to do this it? This is a traditional. Some people trying to do that, but with filo. No, but the, this is the real McCoy, as they say. That's right. Very good. So that's, that's right. our burek right here. Here you've given us a, a beautiful demonstration of all the different breads that you have here. Can you uh, tell us a little bit of uh, what bread 
is made with is flour, it's yes, water, it's yeast, but then it's a lot more than that. Yes, sir. What do we have here? Well, uh, let's start from the dark rye. Our rye sour is a, a three-step sour, okay. which we feed uh, until we do the bread. So it's called three-step sour. And uh, this one, it doesn't have any white flour. It's 20% uh, whole wheat yep. and then 80% rye, right. which is a dark rye. And then the second one is our 100% whole wheat bread. So again, there is no white flour in our whole wheat bread. Great and sandwich uh, bread right there yes. also. And, and this is we a very interesting to, looking here. To the marble rye. Marble rye, Yes, yeah. um, we do like a uh, half light rye and a half dark rye. We, we shape it together and then we get this kind of shaping inside. Nice, interesting design there. Yes, that's my my creation. Very nice. And this one is a light rye, which is a, a flavor one with a onion rye. We call it onion rye and we dip in poppy seeds. Right. And uh, this one is my favorite one. Is the bread from back home. It's a very simple one. And uh, we bake it on a stone. Not on a tray, but on a stone. And this one is called, that's the pitalka. Yes, it's called the pitalka bread. Right. And it's so most of the breads that you have here, they're done on a rack oven and yes. rolling, except for the pitalka, yeah. which needs that stone contact uh, to give it that yes, kind of a that's correct. finish. Yes, sir. Here we have? Uh, this one is uh, Albanian bread, ah. which uh, is a secret. Sorry about that. Oh, you, the secrets are okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, so right. we, basically, is it a sour type of bread yes. or is it? Yes, that's correct. Okay. It's kind of sour. And this one is called a Sicilian rustic bread. Right. We do like a, a roasted pepper, uh, olives, black olives, and then sh shredded cheddar cheese and some spices on the top. Okay. This one is a sweet dough, which we do with a, a dipped in a poppy seed and we call it jevrek. S sesame seed? Yeah, sesame seed. Sesame seed, yeah. Yes, and uh, we call it a jevrek. What would you have this with? Well, we do actually... Can you can you slice it up with some meat inside, with some cheese? Of course, absolutely. There you go, it's a giant bagel. Yes. Just about. Yeah, and uh, the next one is our sourdough bread. Yeah. The same as like a, a dark rye, is a three-step sour, which we do feeding like from the time we finish the job until the time we start baking. It needs a start after to get going. Yes, sir, that's correct. Okay. And uh, this one is our mini baguette, which uh, we do like. Uh, a crusty bread? Yes, yeah. of course, it's nice and crusty, Euro crust. And uh, this one is a white bread. It's not much uh, uh, that uh, I should say about is a standard white standard bread. Standard white bread. Yeah, good for so, making grilled cheese, good for making sandwiches, yes, any kind correct. of thing. Which any of these breads would be good with anything. But yes, sir. This correct. is your standard white bread. Yes, sir. And uh, this one is same as the Jevrek dough, only that we put inside cheese and then put on top cheese as well. What kind of cheese? Same as like we do the bure. Oh, so it's a feta type cheese. Yes, feta okay. and goddess cheese okay. mixed together. And the last one, this is the a French loaf bread. Right. Same as like. Is it a bigger version bread. of this one? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Yes. This is a 700 gram loaf. Okay. Before baked. Before baking. And what do we have here? Oh, this one is a, a, a kifla. It's very popular in uh, back home. Like again, you can slice it and... A curved hot dog bun. <laughs> yes, curved hot dog bun. Just about, but okay, so you can slice this, put a couple of sausages in there. Yes. And you've got, uh, so it's a sweet dough as well? Yes, sir, yes, it's okay. quite rich dough, so it has uh, eggs and a butter on it. And so while these things are here, you've got your crew in the back preparing all these other delicious items. The uh, burek is being prepared, yes, as uh, we saw, stretching and it's a, I can see that uh, it's a lot of work to make a burek. It so, is a lot of work. Yeah. So it, not only that, you need a special expertise. Special and so special it, people to do that as well. So it's not something that you can just learn, go to school, learn. So it's no. years and years of apprenticeship. And this one and is actually in our blood. It's something that we do like almost from the time so you we grew up with this? Yes, sir. Right. That's correct. Now, you also uh, have uh, 
th some of these breads you deliver to customers around the city? Yes. Because I've seen your vehicle uh, on the road, uh, European Bakery in Delhi, delivering to yes, restaurants we do have and some other coffee shops and restaurants downtown. That, that use your some, product. Yes, we have some down south, like uh, Spruce Meadows. There we serve and. Uh, we are open. We are open for business, so yeah. everybody is welcome. There you go. So anybody who wants to have try uh, our loaves, they can come here, or if yes, you've got absolutely. a business, you can have it delivered. Absolutely. There you go. Besides uh, all these lovely pastries and breads, you also uh, you bring in a lot of European groceries, uh, sauces, jams, uh, all different items. Yes, we do lots of important stuff from Europe. We have a distributor who they come from Toronto, Vancouver, but everything it's come, of course, from Europe. It's a thing that you can't find in a Canadian market. Yeah. We have a special gems, for example, we have a vegetable spread, we call Ivar, okay. that people they use for everything. Like in our store here, when we make sandwiches, we do spread with that instead of mayo. Okay, so, so it's, it's a special a, product. It, it's a special thing that you use. So it's so, more than, than a bakery, it's a little grocery store with some European specialties. I can say a little bit of everything, a yeah. little bit from everywhere. Come in for a little snack, uh, have some Turkish coffee, for example. Sit at the counter, have a piece of pastry. We do serve coffee. We have our own pastry here. We make. And you're the pastry chef for this fine establishment. I am. I I got all these kind of stuff from my, obviously, my parents. So you trained as a pastry chef as well. Yes. Okay. So uh, these are the, some of the specialty items we have here. Uh, of course, baklava. We all baklava, know. Baklava. We have our own baklava. We make our own dough. Bake it here, traditional way. Is it a walnut baklava? It's a walnut baklava. Okay, and this one? Kadaif is a shredded pastry. Okay. And it's rolled with nuts, also dipped in a syrup, same as baklava. Right. Any filling in there? In uh, Kadaif? In, in Kadaif. It has a nut. Nuts, okay. Walnut as well, yeah. And I can see here strudel. And the strudel, our strudel, it's made with uh, phyllo pastry. Okay. Like puff pastry, yeah. and the la the bottom has a layer of uh, sponge cake. Oh, okay. And we do our own filling, like apple filling. We put the layer of the sponge just to absorb a little. I bit do the, the same thing when I make my uh, my uh, strudel. You want to absorb because you don't want the uh, base to be soaked and no. and. Uh, we want to be a crunchy. Crispy, right? Let's see what about this lovely little product here. Can I cut into this? Of I'm already you doing can. it, Enjoy so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. There is some lovely, lovely strudel, which I'm going to try. That's a good strudel. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. What and um, crempita is the most popular item here in the store. It's made with a uh, filo dough. Right. 
like flecky filo. Yeah. And uh, custard is the cream we make it ourselves from the scratch. What kind of a cream? Is it like a cream cheese it's, kind of a filling? No, it's like a, a custard. custard. A custard it's filling. A custard. So eggs, vanilla, that kind of a thing. Eggs, vanilla, starch, yeah. cooked with milk. We cook day before and we use it next day because it has to set. Right, so you can cut it uh, like you do as here. Yeah. This is a special items here. Looks like uh, from one, back home. That one we call a sugar money. It's a little cookie, short Sugar cookie. money? Yeah. Okay, there's always money in sugar. So that it's a good name. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so what's in it? It's a shortbread cookie dipped in honey and syrup. Delicious. That would go, go great with a, with a... Go ahead and dig it up. Let me try that one. There we go here. That's sugar money, all right. Mm -mm -mm. And also we do a cheesecake, which is not baked. It's just fluffy cheesecake. It's a set style, so set style in other words, it's got cake. gelatin in it to set it. No gelatin. No gelatin, in it. No really? No gelatin in mm. it. We just whip cream and uh, cheese with the flavors. Our mocha is the special one as well. A lot yeah. of people, they eat with the Turkish coffee. Yeah. It has a nice flavor. So you have sponge cake, you have chocolate. We have three layers of sponge. Yeah. And we have a buttercream mocha. Yum. Uh, we make our own buttercream here as well, yes. like everything it's made here. So how many different kind of pastries would you say you have in a showcase at one time? About 30 types. That's a lot. So you're busy we all the time. We change all the time, like every week we change to another, especially in a season, for yeah. example. have lunch, dinner, dessert, everything, a snack, all coffee, in one. all in one. You make sandwiches here to order? We do make sandwiches as well. So as we, as, as we need, like we don't prepare, but when customer come, they want a sandwich, we make right so in front of So do they the choose there. the kind of bread they that they want? They can choose the bread, they can choose what kind of meat to use. That's, uh, that's They can choose filling, like we said, we use lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese in yeah. it, but like I said, we use Ivar as well the Ivar. for spreading. That's your special uh, spread, special thing that as opposed do. to butter yeah. or mayonnaise or something, the yes. Ivar. So obviously, Lumi, a lot of work goes into making these things here. These are all natural ingredients. Everything is made from scratch. Nothing is bought. For example, your your baklava here. It's a unique item. This is not something that you can get on a store shelf anywhere at a grocery store. This is a specialty product unique to European bakery and deli. Yes, this is a homemade baklava. We do twice a week, like from the scratch. Right and we do our own syrup and everything. So it's a handmade, it's a homemade style. Yes. It's not something that you can find in a grocery in a store grocery anywhere. Or, or convenience food, packaged food, nothing like and that. And it's, it's fresh, it's... It's the real McCoy. It's a Just real like McCoy. your creams here, this is not your basic... Creme pita, we do make pretty much every day. Every day, this is a, it's a, a very popular... That, very popular stuff, no one, I, I haven't seen. But it's a traditional recipe. The people they know the taste. What is like? It's a. Uh, so this is something that you would that you brought with you. Yes. Uh, from the old country, as they say. I had these from my grandparents. This oh, recipe. That's the stuff. That's uh, that's why people come here because they, yes. it's unique and it's uh, traditional. Now, uh, 
besides the sandwiches, the breads, and so on, you also have a freezer section where a customer can come in and buy, for example, a frozen burek to take home and bake. That's correct. Well, that we have from our experience, from our customer. Yes. So everybody, when they come, they say, oh, I wish I can take it home and bake it home. So we came to that point to make it freeze it, and people, they can take it uncooked, they cook it at home. Which I've done before. I've taken some of that product home. I baked it myself. It turns very well. It works so it out well, but even better is when you have it here, uh, because uh, you bake it to the max, a, you do it properly. In, a, in a busy days, people, they take frozen. Yeah. They bake whenever they need. Oh, they don't it's, have it's to come from all the way down. I agree. I mean, the frozen is the next best thing, but uh, the best thing is right here at European Bakery. Fresh is always Fresh is always best. best. The best. Yeah. We've been at European Bakery and Deli here on 17th Avenue in Calgary, talking with Luma and Shakir, the owners. And this is the place where you'll find European groceries, sandwiches, breads, and of course, the specialty of the house, burex. So if you want to try some of these ingredients, some of these items, you'll have to come here and check out this beautiful bakery.